So the verdict is in. The people have spoken. You, my subscribers, have decided that Billy Joe Saunders did indeed quit against Canelo Alvarez. As you can see on screen, 60% of you said yes, he did quit. Just 29% said no, he didn't. And 12% said they were unsure. If I hadn't left not sure as an option on the poll, I wonder where those not sure voters would have put their vote. Would it have been in the yes column or the no column or perhaps in each column equally? You know, 6% in the no's and 6% in the yeses. Either way, the vast majority of people, at least among my subscriber base, believe that Billy Joe Saunders did quit. And the reason I wanted to do this poll is to show people that what I was saying in my videos was an accurate reflection of how certainly my subscribers were feeling about the fight. Because I said that based upon what I've seen in the comments, the majority of people seem to believe that Billy Joe did indeed quit. And this poll reflects that. Now, of course, people have their favorites. People like certain fighters and they dislike other fighters and that can influence the way they perceive certain situations. But there are going to be a lot of people who simply looked at the Billy Joe Canelo situation dispassionately and arrived at that conclusion that Billy Joe quit. And I am not fully in the yes camp but I'm also not fully in the not sure camp. I'm somewhere halfway between not sure and yes. So I'm definitely leaning more towards yes. And that's based upon the video Mark Tibbs did, which I already spoke about in a previous upload. That to me was an eyebrow raiser because as Billy Joe Saunders trainer, surely if Billy Joe definitely didn't quit, he would come out and say that. He would come out and say, I stopped the fight. Billy Joe had nothing to do with the decision. It was all me. Surely Mark Tibbs would do that, but he didn't do that. He didn't come out and say, it was all me. Billy Joe wanted to continue. The kind of stuff that Ben Davison was inferring, right? Billy Joe wanted to go out for the ninth round. Mark Tibbs never said any of that in that video. And that video was a clarification video. Perhaps Mark Tibbs feels like he can't be dishonest about the situation you know and if Billy Joe Saunders did indeed quit then it would be dishonest of Mark Tibbs to come out and say I stopped the fight and Billy Joe wanted to come out for the ninth round and the decision was all mine it was nothing to do with Billy Joe it was actually against his will maybe Mark Tibbs couldn't live with himself saying something like that if it's not true you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And as I keep saying all along, the intention here is not to bash somebody for quitting because I'm not in there taking the punches. So I can't judge the guy who got the eye injury and who's in there with a pound for pound fighter. The intention here, first and foremost, is to arrive at the truth, whatever that may be, and also to allow for people to compare what Billy Joe Saunders did, if indeed he did quit, to what he said before the fight. Do the two things match up? He said that his eyes would have to be gone and all this other stuff could happen to him and he would still never quit. And of course, the comments they made about Daniel Dubois. I do think it's fair enough for people to be critical of him based upon what he's previously said. If he hadn't made those comments before about how he would never quit and about how he doesn't agree with what Daniel Dubois did, then I wouldn't even be making this video here. <laughs> okay. So it is about what, uh, well, maybe I would be making at least one video, but I wouldn't be making several videos. Yeah, uh, it's it's about Billy Joe Saunders' previous comments on the subject of quitting, and basically 
I don't want to say calling out Daniel Dubois, but being critical of Daniel Dubois. Fighters, just like anybody else, if they don't live up to their word, people are going to pull them on it. And that could be the case here with Billy Joe Saunders, because, as I say, 60% of you, perhaps some of them don't like Billy Joe, but I'm sure a fair few of them are just being objective about the situation and they're looking at the evidence, particularly Mark Tibbs's last video, and they're thinking, well, he's not coming out and exonerating Billy, is he? He's not coming out saying, I definitely stopped it and Billy had nothing to do with it. Why wouldn't he do that if it was true? You make of it what you will, people.